I want to talk to you a bit about the kind of research we do in the software verification lab. And this is the lab, this is my own lab. So in the software verification lab, we our motto is we make your programs run right. So at a higher level, what we do is we study how systems work. We describe what we learned mathematically, whatever that means, and we understand why a system fails. And then we build tools that help programmers. Basically tools that either, either can help programmers understand why a system fails or even why it works, or they can help also make the system work better or faster. So in terms of big picture, the kinds of um, domains that we're interested, we really care about high performance computing. Uh, as you might, I don't know if you know what high performance computing is, but it's essentially the backbone of scientific advancement. This is basically the, the field that is responsible for designing um, basically tools, programming languages, and applications for supercomputers. So we focus on large-scale scientific workloads. So these are things that are running on supercomputers that consist of, I don't know, thousands of regular servers, you know, clusters full of computers. How do you design program that programs that run reliably in such huge scales? So the kind of research that we do improves the quality assurance of scientific codes. So scientifics that will run in these supercomputers. But we're also interested in single node, like single computer um, software, as you will see. But but generally the the kind of large scale, large uh, long term kind of problems that we care about are really uh, this large scale scientific workloads. So in, in my research lab, I'm looking for uh, collaborators. This includes summer research projects, even research projects during uh, the semester, uh, fall and spring, and also for PhD students. I'm especially interested in students who are um, native, <laughs> so are, are local. Um, this is very important for for the students themselves because people who are from the US and especially from this area have special fellowships and a lot of financial support to fund them fund their own uh, studies which is something that is very interesting i i think for for phd students um so i'm also very interested in in underrepresented uh, groups as for uh, PhD students. So I, I would like you to, if you're, if you're interested, maybe start from the more than 40 open source projects that I have on my uh, personal webpage. Uh, some of them, a lot of them were designed because of research. Uh, you will see projects written in Python, C++, Java, OCaml, Cock, Racket, so things that are either uh, functional programming, imperative, object-oriented, uh, a lot of different things, C++, Java, you name it. Um, we've worked on it. So if you are interested in doing research in, in my lab, essentially what we do is an intersection between, it's where software engineering, engineering meets logic, if you will. So you will be, there are many things you can learn. You can go for more of a software engineering uh, kind of approach, or you can go for more theoretical logic and not even program. I'm interested in both kind of, of people and also people who are willing to do both. So things that you may learn while you're doing research in my lab will be functional programming, of course, multi-threaded uh, and parallel programming, developing continuous integration pipelines. This is something that a lot of companies need. And this is something that is very important for reproducible science. 
that's something I really care about. Um, you may learn about using supercomputers and use them and run jobs that run um, with thousands of cores or even uh, nodes. You will be implementing, you may implement compilers, interpreters, debuggers, tools that are either related to programming language design, but also on tools that support programming. Um, you will be able to also do uh, programming proofs. So for instance, using Coq, um, also using set solvers, SMT solvers, if you haven't heard of this, uh, that's something we use, and also model checkers, something we're very interested in. Um, so any of these things, if you, if you do research in my lab, you would be you would have the opportunity of working on any or all, depending on your interests. Um, yeah, and in the next video, if so, before that, if you if you're interested, just shoot me an email. I'm always interested in in exploring opportunities with you. Um, and in the next video, we're going to be talking about pattern matching.